Well, I can certainly say that uh, we are looking <laughs> with a with a um, positive uh, pair of eyes. Uh, also, uh, beyond the elections, with with uh, increasing chances to get uh, the, the the COVID uh, vaccine, perhaps even earlier than than we currently think right now. Uh, I think this is this is the most important one. And otherwise, um, we're looking at some some more thematic perhaps ideas that we like in any case and we're looking at these scenarios also here for for APEC. Um, just to give you an example, right? So we, we have um, certainly the view that when when we get a blue wave in the in the States, for example, that um, you know some of the US listed uh, Chinese names they should they should benefit. Um, China solar biotech in a, in a green in a green push uh, or solar in particular could could benefit. So we're looking at some of some of those ideas, and um, yeah, if if we get a if we get a red wave, if you will, or more status quo, so so, so less of a of a, a reproach on the on the trade side, maybe the beneficiaries from from diversification in the supply chains and tech and industrials, we're already seeing signs of that. So yeah, so some some thematic ideas around the elections. Really, what investors will want to care about, which we may not get so much out of the DNC, is on the economic issues. And as you pointed out, there's such a wide divergence between these two candidates. So what are the big items that you're watching out for in terms of what impacts markets globally? Mm. I think we were watching for three areas of, of deltas uh, or changes in, in particular with the potential uh, blue wave. So one, especially important here for, for Asia, is the, the approach to um, other countries and also to trade. So you know, things like potentially even TPP, but um, maybe even uh, lowballing it a bit more, but at least a, a change of, of a toolbox or tactics in, you know, with, with China, whether you know, there'll still be such an aggressive pursuit of, of uh, tariffs or, or whether you know, we would expect actually just to not completely go away the tensions necessarily, but, but to, to, to be notched down. Then uh, certainly the, 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 the tax, uh, corporate taxation, uh, I mean, going from 21 to 28 percent is a big step. It brings back mm -hmm. about half the previous tax cuts under Trump, so it's uh, you know, meaningful. And the, the third one we're also looking at as a big delta is the, the Green New Deal. So in mean, $2 trillion, even if you stretch it over a few years, is a big, mm -hmm. big number.